Welcome, champions, to the Unitard Dies in Blackguards. Blackguards is the newest tactics RPG game to come out this year, and it's only the first month of 2014, and this is the fourth tactics RPG game to come out so far, which is really showing that there's a huge resurgence in this genre, especially on the PC, which really hasn't had a ton of of tactics RPG games in the past. This is my favorite genre of game. So I am loving this year and I cannot wait to get into Blackguards which is a very complicated tactics RPG but very rewarding and very fun. I've played it for a couple hours already and I think this time around we are gonna do something that may be a bad idea but normally you would start in basic mode, and basic mode gives you your main character. It chooses all the class, all the stats of the chosen class will be distributed automatically, and you can start the game right away. Now this may not seem like a big deal, but when you see the vast amount of things that you can go into, you're going to realize just how maybe daunting this could be to a new player and I am very much still a new player but we're gonna try it anyway I think it would be a lot more fun to have a very customized character for my play style so we're gonna go into expert mode now the thing to note about blackguards is there are no levels and there's really no classes even though you can initially pick from one of three classes which is hunter warrior and mage but that doesn't mean you can't be a mage who wields a two-handed broadsword and wears chainmail because you can you can go into any weapon that you want you can use any skills that you want you can build your character in any way you want there's only one restriction and that is if you choose a mage you will only be allowed to use, if you don't choose a mage, hold on, let me rephrase that. If you don't choose a mage, you will never be allowed to use spells. Only the mage class can use spells. But that's really the only restriction in the game. Mages also have a uh, reduction in their spell casting ability if they wear armor. And they're not able to overcome that as far as I know. So that's it. So the first choice that we're going to have is if we want to use magic. And as tempting as it is, I'm going to choose not to use magic. And so we're just going to ignore this. We're, well, we can say no, actually. And it doesn't matter. So we will just ignore it. So we're going to pick our name. We're going to be the Unitard, obviously. And we're going to pick our look. Though I really like the face of this guy. I'm not sure I really like the hair. And I'm not into being blonde and ponytailed. <laughs> so not a lot of customization with the look, but really it's not a big deal because character customization in this game is insane. When you see all the things that we can choose and how we can build our character, uh, it's pretty easy to overlook that the character's faces are not a lot of choice. All the armor will change and all the weapons will change the way you look as well. So it's pretty cool. I think we're going to go with... Well, you know, I hate this hair, but I love the face. And... It's possible we might, like, get a helmet or a hood or something that covers the hair, and then we still get the face. So we're going to go with this guy. He is the Unitard. So now, that was the easy part. We're going to move on to the enormously hard part. <laughs> so here we get to spend our adventure points on attribute skills or spells. Attributes can be increased to 14, skills and spells up to a value of 8. When starting the game, any adventure points left unspent will be lost. 
So I think we start off with 10,000 AP. These are our adventure points. And this is what you get throughout the game to continue to build your character. Uh, instead of leveling up. You don't level up. So, I think the best thing to do first is to look at talents. Not talents. Um, special ability. And the first special ability I would like is... I think faint. Is this the targeted stab and death blow? Yes. So I want to make an assassin based character something that is uh, dual wielding pretty fast and can do a lot of damage with his weapons even if he's just using daggers. And so faint is the ability that will start that skill tree. Then we can go into Targeted Stab, we can go into Death Blow, and we can go into Blade Storm. And these are the abilities that I want. The main abilities. So also I gotta look at armor. Uh, the hero is accustomed to wearing heavy armor and will no longer be as heavily encumbered by armor. Okay, I don't need that. Uh, so I can wear leathers and that will be fine. Uh, there's also Dodge. The hero is skilled at dodging enemy attacks. And receives a small bonus to his or her dodge value. So we may take that as well. Oh, dual wielding. Okay. So these are the two skills I think I want. I want feint and dual wielding. Dual wielding simplifies combat with two one-handed weapons. And reduces the resulting penalty. Alright. So we need to up our agility to 12. And I believe we can do that. Now, when you look at courage, cleverness, intuition, these are all the attributes that you can pick that raise your base values. And some of them raise more than one base value, including strength, which raises five, your vitality, your attack, your parry, your dodge, and your ranged. Uh, agility raises your attack, parry, dodge, and your initiative, and your speed. And that is what we want to get to 12. So we're going to raise that right now to 12, which leaves us with 8,930 points. We may go higher with agility uh, in a minute. But I want to get my abilities, so I'm going to grab my feint. Okay, so I cannot cancel my purchase, but I am sure that I want to learn feint. So a feinted blow which confuses the enemy, thus making their parry or dodge maneuver more difficult. Not possible with one or two handed bashing weapons. Which is fine, because we're not actually planning on going into that area. Now, I don't think I can get to targeted stab. I could learn dual wielding. Targeted stab is going to be dexterity of 13. See, this is where it gets confusing, because there's a lot of stuff. There's also weapon talents that we have to focus on. There's going to be talents that we might put points into and probably should. So we want to make sure we don't blast through all our points just trying to get a couple of special abilities. So dexterity doesn't do a great deal for our stats and the way I want to build my character, unfortunately. Uh, it is, however, important to move forward with the skill tree I want to go into. But it only affects ranged combat. Which is kind of bad. <laughs> uh, but we're going to have to go a couple points into it. So I wonder if we should take it all the way to 13... And if we do that, 
then we can... Okay, well, we can't go into this yet. Because it's not unlocked. So, I'm not sure at what point that becomes unlocked. So, maybe we shouldn't put all those points in? No, I think we're okay. Uh, the hero is skilled at dodging enemy attacks and receives a small bonus to his or her dodge value. I think I might take that. I can't unlearn it if I learn it. Okay. Then there's dodge 2, there's battle reflexes, and there's dodge 3. I am going to learn this. Okay, I'm at 7,000 points. I'm also going to learn dual wielding. Like I said, I have no idea if this is going to be a good character. If it's going to be a terrible character. I'm not entirely sure. But it's my character. It's the Unitard. And that's really what's important here. Okay. So I think we're going to go Daggers. We're going to raise Daggers to... 8... Should we go up to 10? We can only go to 8. So we're going to raise daggers to 8. Now an interesting thing in this game that's different from others is you have this scale. And what it does is if you look over at your attack and your parry, as I move it towards the shield, my parry will go up and my attack will go down. But as I move it towards my sword, my attack will go up and my parry will go down. But I think I need to actually have a dagger equipped. Maybe. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem to be doing anything at the moment. But it will. I assure you. <laughs> okay, let's go back to base values. And I think we're going to dump some points into strength. To raise our attack and our vitality. So I'm going to go up to... 11... 12. We also have Constitution. We're going to raise that to 10. Cleverness is my resistance to magic. Courage is my attack. My initiative and my resistance to magic. Uh, there's Intuition, which is my parry, my dodge, my ranged... And my initiative. I'm going to go one point into that. Raising it to nine. Okay. So I think as far as special abilities, I'm good. I have what I want to start with. And we're not going into spells. And I have the weapon at eight that I want. I may pick another weapon if I still have some points left. And now we got to worry about talents. So talents is a little bit... I'm not entirely sure about talents yet. So willpower is a small chance to ignore wound modifiers and to reduce the duration of level 1 enchantments by 50%. We also have body control, small chance to resist knockdowns and negative environmental effects. We have Perception, Hidden Objects, and Level 1 Traps, and at 8 Hex uh, Radius become visible. Survival, Speed plus 1 for all with Wilderness Battles. Treat Wounds, heals 5 Vitality Points of an Injured Character, heals up to 3 Wounds. I haven't figured out how this works yet, but I think it works with Bandages. I think you need to have Bandages. Because otherwise, I did have this on my character. I chose a hunter. But I couldn't figure out how to actually treat wounds. And then finally, just near the end of when I stopped playing, I found some bandages and equipped them. Uh, but never actually used it, so I'm not sure. But I think we should go into that. So we can raise it to... If we raise it to 8, we'll be into level 2. So I'm going to raise it to 8. 
I'm also going to go into... This is interesting. There's also Warcraft. Vitality and astral points of an inexperienced humanoid enemy are displayed as well as their hit chance. Okay. I think I'm going to go into Warcraft because I'm curious how it works. And I don't know if I should go up to 8, but I'm going to. And I think that's as far as I can go in it. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to go into Willpower. But I'm not going to take it up to 8. I'm going to leave it at 4. And... I'm going to go into Body Control. And I'm also going to leave it at 4. Okay. So there's Animal Lore too. Vitality and Astral Points of a Level 1 Beast are displayed as well as their hit chance. Okay, I'm going to go into that, and I'm going to also take it to four. I'm not going to go into traps, though I'm, I would like to. We can maybe go into that later. But I think so far this is good, and I think the rest of my points I'm going to put into my attributes to get a good start with uh, my base values. Whether this is the right way to build a character or not, I really have no idea. But this is my way. <laughs> this is my attempt anyway. We're going to raise strength to 14 as well. Which is as high as we can go. Um, I think we're also going to raise courage. So we are now at 800. We're going to raise our initiative by one. Now cleverness is our resistance to magic. We have no magic resistance. And our constitution is fairly low. Okay. I think... We should raise either our constitution or our cleverness. Or maybe both. We can put a point into each. And that leaves me with 68 points, which I don't think... Oh, you know what? I know of a place I can put them. Or I can put them into... Starting weapons. Um, we can go into bows, but bows aren't very good. They might get really good later on, but my experience with bows was not wonderful. So maybe we'll go into uh, swords. Okay, and then put some points into bows. And we have six points left. Which... Yeah, these are all really expensive. Okay. So with our six points left, we will put it into another weapon. Uh... We're not going to use two-handed swords. So maybe throwing weapons. We'll put points into that. Okay. Well, thanks for watching me build my character. And... I think we're going to get started now. <laughs> oh, we need to do one more thing. <laughs> We can pick our we need to pick our equipment. Pick the starting gear for your character. Just drag and drop the equipment of your choice to the corresponding gear slots. Your character will only keep equipped items. Any non-equipped gear is lost upon starting the game. Okay. Well. 
Uh, we don't want to start with an axe if we can start with something else. Like a dagger. Like two daggers. Do I only get one dagger to start? Really? Oh, okay. Hold on, let's go back to weapons. So, glaive, cudgel, broadsword, short sword, quarterstaff, mace, torch, faster sword, glaive, which I already read, halberd, scythe, battle axe, and woodcutter's axe. Okay. So, we'll take uh, a short sword and a dagger. And we'll do a wield. Until we can get another dagger. And then for armor... We are already in full leather. But it's not the same. Now, having the same leather armor actually gives you bonuses. And I believe it has to be the same. So it has to be hardened leather or... Or leather cuirass. I think cuirass means body armor, but... I believe it has to all be the same. So, like, leather boots. Or gambeson armor. Should we maybe just go full gambeson to start? So, like, gambeson gloves. Gambeson pants. Gambeson shirt. And Gambeson shoes. I look like a Shakespearean actor. That is hilarious. <laughs> so we have a complete armor set, which will give us some bonus. I believe. <laughs> and I don't know what this slot is. It looks like another boot slot, but... How come my boots aren't there? Okay. Well, I'm ready to get started in Black Arts. I'm sorry this took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, oh, man. We have other things we can look at. <laughs> uh, okay, we don't have a belt. So to take any of these items and equip them, we actually need a belt to put them on. Uh, I believe we can... Equip throwing daggers, but they're going to disappear. I'm not entirely sure. But you know what? I'm good with what we have. It's actually better than what you start with if you just have a base character. So we are going to start like this. And get the game going. So get ready. Here is Blackguards. We might follow our reason, our instinct, or our friends. Sooner or later, all of them deceive us. Trust no one, they say. Especially not yourself. Eleanor is food for wolves. Poor Eleanor. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I really like that. Eleanor. Okay, we're coming. <laughs> no secrets. Okay, so I'm going to hot bar some of my radio dial uh, abilities. As you can see, the radio dial is ridiculous. Uh, so hot barring is a good idea. 
So this will basically allow us to do our two-handed attack. Uh, so we use our dual wielding attacks. And this is our feint ability. Uh, the fainted blow, I'm going to read it again because I actually haven't used it before. Fainted blow, which confuses the enemy, thus making their parry or dodge maneuver more difficult. Not possible with one or two-handed bashing. Okay. So it makes it easier for us to hit them in the future. Okay. I am going to hit you with a dual wield, which did nine. And I'm going to do it again. Which did 22 damage. We Princess. are a beast. Eleanor. What's going on? What's happening to me? There's somebody back there. It's alright. Everything's alright. Very eerie beginning. With Eleanor whispering to attack the beast and telling us everything's all right. At least I'm assuming it's Eleanor. It could be someone else. But I don't know. We haven't found that out yet. So we are in prison of Neetha one day after Eleanor's death. The name. Tell us the name. Uh, Lysander? W what? To hell with you, bastard! You slew Eleanor. No. No, that's not... What happened to me? He must tell us the name. What are you talking about? What name? Tell us what you know, this instant! What I know? What name? Too bad. You leave me no choice. My friend Muratori will make you talk. Tell us the name. Ah, ah, ah. The name! What name? Ah, I don't know any name! Chapter 1 Getaway. I've always known what I want out of life. To sleep the days away under the sun. I just wanted to live. No more, no less. But the death of the princess changed everything. They think I murdered her. And they might be right. Maybe it doesn't even matter. You come into this world as a nobody, and you leave it as a nobody. They'll put a rope around my neck, and my neck will break. But one question still haunts me by the Nameless One. What happened to me? Yeah. That's the question. Did we turn into a wolf? Did we eat Eleanor? I don't Eleanor? know why you're here, but I have a feeling you shouldn't stay. How did you manage to free yourself? You biggins don't know how to lock up an angry show. We have company. Hey! Okay, so we couldn't have turned into a wolf because we killed the wolf. But was Eleanor already dead? Or did the wolf kill Eleanor? Or was he wolf just eating Eleanor. See, that's the thing that we have to answer. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to skip through the tutorial and try to explain myself what's happening as we go along. Uh, we can change the view of our hexagonal grid. And right now we are naked, me and the dwarf, and we have to go and fight this guy. Now, if we choose to wait, which we can do, we actually move to the back of the initiative track and then get to use our action before we start the track over again, if that makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to do that and lure the guard in. So we're going to wait and we're going to wait. Now I don't have to use the radial dial to wait. I can actually just press spacebar. So that's probably what I'm going to continue to do in the future. So you won't see me actually going there and hitting wait, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, well he didn't move that far in and we still can't get to him. So we're gonna wait again and draw him in. And now he's here and now we'll attack. So our dwarf has a power blow. I'm gonna add that up here to make it easier to use. And I'm gonna hit Get with a power away. blow. There was a 90% chance and it landed. 
I have an 80% chance to land uh, my blow, which I am not proficient with at all. So I didn't land it. <laughs> Did no damage. Uh, okay. So until I get some daggers, I'm probably going to be pretty useless. Even though I have like an 80% chance to hit, 90% chance I'm not hitting. Okay. Will be grateful that he doesn't have too much to carry on his way to the realm of the dead. Here are the keys. So, what's this name, eh? The name that Four Eyes was asking you about. You mean Lysander? I call him Four Eyes. Maybe you should just tell him what you know. Well, okay, champions, I think at this point we've gotten started in the game. You got to see me make a character, and you get to see us meet up with our first companion. This is our dwarf companion. He's our warrior in our group. And join me for more as we continue to escape from the prison next time. See you all then. Bye for now.